Hey, good morning, Choice Residential. Hope your day's off to a great start. Today, I wanna to talk about final walkthroughs and some things you can do to help make sure that there is no drama right there at the end before closing. First thing I wanna say is give some thought to when you are scheduling that final walkthrough. Now, it's very tempting to wanna to do a final walkthrough literally minutes before closing. And to be fair, you should be laying eyes on the property right before you're heading to the attorney's office uh, because what if something has happened um, overnight, you have a 9 a.m. closing, you want to make sure that you're not getting back to the house after closing and you find a tree laying through the middle of the home. So um, certainly you want to lay eyes on it right before closing. But that doesn't mean that your final walkthrough truly has to be right before closing. If the sellers have moved out early, maybe it was a vacant house, maybe they've already closed on their new home and have moved. So if there is the opportunity to do the walkthrough the day before closing, that would be an ideal time to do it. That way, if there are any issues that you need to try and resolve at the last minute, you're not doing it at the closing attorney's office, trying to figure out how to move forward and get it closed on time. The other thing is you need to set expectations with your buyer about what to expect during that final walkthrough. This should be happening maybe a week or so before you're gonna be doing the final walkthrough. And you wanna talk through your buyer what that experience is gonna be like. Think about some of the things that buyers in the past get upset about um, or things that can cause drama at the last minute. And sometimes those are stains in the carpet that they didn't see before because now furniture has been moved out of the home and there was something they didn't see. Uh, inevitably, the home does not look as appealing when it's empty, when every time they had seen it leading up to that, it had been furnished and staged and that sort of thing. Also be aware that when sellers move out, if there was no arrangement to have the home professionally clean, there is actually no contractual obligation for a seller to clean the home. Now we always hope that they're gonna leave it at least broom swept and wiped down, but that's not a guarantee. So it's a good expectation to set with your buyer, hey, hopefully the seller has cleaned the home to some degree, but they may not have. You may wanna schedule a professional cleaner to come in if you can manage the logistics of that in terms of their need to move into the house. So have that kind of conversation going forward. Another thing you may want to consider is having a junk removal specialist on speed dial, because the reality is at some point in your career, you're going to show up to do the final walkthrough and there's a bunch of stuff that the sellers left. There's stuff in the crawl space, stuff under the deck, old deck furniture, some stuff left in the kitchen, bedroom set that's falling apart that they left. The sellers got rushed. Sometimes they're just bad sellers. But sometimes they meant well and they just got delayed. Maybe the movers were delayed or it took longer than they expected. Yes, they should have let you know in advance, but it doesn't always happen that way. So instead of adding to the drama and getting upset along with your client, you need to step in and be the hero. Now, no, that's not an expense you should have to bear to call the junk company and get that stuff taken out. But remember, we're trying to make sure the client is having an A plus experience throughout the transaction. So don't let things sour the day before or the morning of closing. Be a hero, get it done, settle up the finances later, all right? So the next thing is the mechanics of actually doing your final walkthrough. What are we checking for? Well, obviously if there are any repairs that were supposed to have been made, you wanna go through and check those. You wanna get the invoices for those repairs ahead of time. And as you're going through making sure that those items were done, if they are things that you're able to check, simple repairs. You also want to check and make sure that the heating cooling system is working. So turn on the thermostats, get those going. Turn on all the faucets, make sure those are working properly. Flush all the toilets, make sure there are no leaks. Poke your head in the attic, poke your head in the crawl space. Walk around the outside, make sure the yard and everything looks like you were expecting it. If there's any personal property that was supposed to convey, such as a refrigerator or washer and dryer, make sure those are there. If there are any fixtures that are missing that were supposed to remain, like TV mounts, curtain rods, you wanna assess those as well. So it's a good idea at some point during your transaction to make note of what fixtures are in the home so that you can go back and make sure that those are still there um, when you're doing your final walkthrough. So in a nutshell, that's what your final walkthrough should look like. Just make sure you're talking about it, leading up to it with your client to prevent any um, expectations that are falling short, hurt feelings and drama there at the end. And most importantly, you yourself, make sure you're not adding to the drama. Be the calm, cool, collected one in the room and help solve the problem, whatever that problem may be. 
And as always, you're always welcome to call me and I'll help talk you through that to find a solution that's a win-win for everybody. As always, if you need me, give me a call. And until next time, take care.